Hello again, everyone. Welcome to the Bob Simmons Show. Tom Dorado with you. And the Cowboys on the road against Missouri this past weekend. And, Bob, another typical example of how we can look to four, five plays that turn the tide. Uh, you, Tom, you're right. But, that you know, too many. We, we looked at this ball game on film. And, uh, obviously, uh, there were some, some plays that uh, we probably should have made. And uh, I think our defense played well, other than giving up uh, those couple two big runs. Uh, could have been a different ball game. So got to score more points, Tom. And that's what we're going to talk about, amongst other things. We're glad you're with us this week. We'll get to the highlight package right after this opening. Time out. The Bob Simmons Show, brought to you by Great Plains. For the most complete, up-to-date, and accurate information on your Oklahoma State Cowboys, your internet destination is www.okstate.com, the official athletic website of Oklahoma State University. Welcome back to the show. Bob, it was a little cool up at Missouri. Good football weather, though. Crowd of probably 45, 50,000. The Cowboys came out ready to play. You felt good all week about this game. We did, Tom. I thought we had a great week of practice, uh, great momentum in, in uh, going through our Wednesdays and Thursdays practice. Our kids uh, talked about it as you see me coming out here. It was a little bit cool, uh, but as you said, great football weather. Uh, we uh, deferred and, and uh, our defense game on the field. As you can see here, we we got, I think that's a third, that's a second down situation. Forced a high throw here. Uh, they got pretty good field position, almost made a play. Uh, Outlaw is an elusive quarterback. I thought uh, uh, Thomas did a nice job. You got to stay wide and running him down. Should have probably been an eight yard gain, but uh, settled for, for, uh, for the two yard gain. It's a nice hit out of bounds. And uh, I think we go to a third and 15, uh, which, uh, you know, Four-man front, let him throw it underneath, now make the tackle time, and I thought we did that well. Pretty well done. We, we did not give him the, the, the deep one, came up and tackled the short one. Uh, and as you can see here, uh, that's the punt. Play. He makes a good play, thought the ball was going to go in. <clears throat> Our offense comes out with the first drive. You know, I thought we moved the ball well. Came out with an ISO play, and Reggie did a good job of picking up about the eight to ten yards. and. Basic sweep, offensive line is doing a good job tackling. The fullback probably could have came up through, but that's it's third and three now. What an option play here. Uh, and the Reggie did a good job of turning the corner, lowering his shoulder. Good and, second and effort good to get second it. Second effort getting that first down, come back. Uh, fullback goes the wrong way here. We needed to chop that guy, and uh, so we're trying to get Tony on the corner, get him outside. Uh, then we go back with a uh, uh, a play, Tony goes in the flat to, to Gabe. You know, he had to read the, the curl or the flat. He took the, Gabe for third and nine. And, and this is a third down situation. We got to make that throw and get in and keep the drive alive. Uh, so that first uh, opportunity we had, Tom, we uh, come out three plays and out, force a kick. Uh, we got to make the tackle. As simple as that. We got to keep our heads up, uh, make the tackle because right now we give them good field position. They start the ball back on the 40. I go inside, uh, good tackle by Craig and about three or four guys with the defense. Uh, come out, throw a, uh, they come out in a, in a different formation mm -hmm. time. And as you can see, they only gain about four yards off of it. Come back here and uh, this is third and uh, seven. Uh, and he comes up short. And what we should have been, and coverage wise, is a little bit tired. This is a big play in the ball game. Uh, it's fourth and one here. And that's a crucial missed tackle at that particular point. Uh, defensive back probably should have taken it on with his inside shoulder, turned it back with his help. Uh, but this is the first of two of their big plays, and uh, uh, you see they, they run an option play where our defense is a little bit out of position. We needed our safety over uh, to make that stop. We come back with the defense, and, and what they're doing is uh, going unbalanced and, and running the uh, just a toss play here. They, they had pretty good field position most of the first half. They come back out here and throw third and six, key down. We had another third down, fourth down. Uh, tip, it should be an interception. It turned into, it came off of Chris Massey's hand. It, here you go, third and six, where they should be kicking the ball and incomplete. Uh, they, they're back in uh, in, a, in a position where they they score on a on a, a play out of the back backfield, where we should have probably been in the better defense time. I think that we were in a man coverage team and didn't get the guy covered. You started Massey at the corner. Started Massey at the corner. Did a pretty good job here. Uh, that's a tough run by Reggie. Yeah. Reggie do a good job, of, and he's excited about. Uh, he runs through tackles. Guys are trying to grab him at his feet. And, that's what he's been doing uh, all year. Well, he's doing a good job. He's lowering that shoulder here and running away from people, not letting people bring him down with one arm. And 
almost uh, one block from probably turning that into a home run. But uh, that's a good aggressive run. And Fourth the trip over 100 yards yeah, in five games. First and 10, Tony comes out, nice throw to Marcellus. In uh, our offense is in sync. You know, we got uh, guys making plays. We move the ball down to the, got a swing pass here. Uh, nice first down get by J. Fobbs. Uh, we're, we're on the 25 yard line on time. Uh, we come back and we, we throw a screen uh, and uh, the, the alignment was a little bit off, but we, we come back, we call a quarterback uh, draw. We should have gotten out, out of that play. Uh, you know, what we should have done is, is probably either taken a timeout and, uh, and got into a better play, but uh, we come out with three points at that particular time. It's 14 to three. Uh, we're back on defense. Our defense did a good job. They throw a screen here. Uh, the guy uh, drops it, come back. But this is one of the basic plays here. This is uh, Levels, one of his many tackles that he made in all ball game and an excellent play. And where he's tackling the guy up high and making sure he's secured. I'd like for him to strip that ball out, but he got the guy down to the ground. Uh, puts him in second and long situation here. They pretty well kept things simple well, for Alabama, don't you think? Yeah, yeah. They kept it simple and just gave him basic routes. Uh, our defense settled in and really started playing well. And uh, this is our third ball game that we blocked the kick time. Uh, and we got to be careful. If that ball's behind the line, anybody can pick it up. And I think that's what their coaches were saying. Fodder Carter does a nice job of blocking it. We got to be aware if that ball does not cross the line of scrimmage, it is a live ball and we need to get around that football. But we got great field position here. We come back with an inside curl uh, to, uh, I think either that's Willie or, or Woods. Uh, come back with Jay. Jay does a nice job of beating this guy. I like to see him get a first down. Turn those shoulders up, get a first down. Fourth and one, we go for it. Uh, so we're back down here on the, on the uh, I think it's on the 25, 15 yard line. Run a sweep here. Again, we don't get much because of the, the three technique beat our guard and uh, we end up getting a sack call here time and, and go back up for a field goal try, and, which is wide right. And again, we come out with no points, but that's another missed opportunity where we had an opportunity to put points on the board uh, and came up and short. And pressure Missouri just a bit on the score. Absolutely. Go in at halftime with a different score. And, and really, this is just before the half where our offense is moving the ball down the field and uh, Tony's making good decisions. We're getting out of bounds. Uh, we're, we're on the 35-yard uh, line here. And, uh, now, this is the last play. Mm -hmm. uh, boy, I really thought I that. I thought he had that, it. I did, too. I thought he hit him in the chest, and normally Marcellus comes up with those plays. Uh, but we go in at halftime where uh, the possibilities of being uh, four points down instead of uh, what the score was. We come back out with Tony. He throws a, a nice read to, to Gabe. Uh, for first down draw, we go back inside to, to uh, Reggie, and we got a pretty good drive going. Mm -hmm. and, and, and nice throw, got tipped a little bit, but uh, it's third and two. Uh, we go on a sprint. Now, he squared his shoulders up, he gets the ball to, to uh, uh, Terrence Davis. Uh, now, you know, this is a little bit of miscommunication here. Uh, we call outs, a quarterback through a fade, uh, and that stops the drive. And, and now they come back out and go back up on top. Perfect throw. Uh, Robbie Gillum did a nice job of really trying to break that ball loose here. Uh, they come back and uh, they're, they're throwing a, a trick play. We got it covered. We got it intercepted, uh, but we get called for uh, pass interference. Uh, but then which, they come uh, right back at it again, trying to go to the end zone. End zone and Massey's and, and, there. Huh? Uh, Massey did a good job. He goes back up top, throwing out and up, and Chris is there, makes a one hand stab, uh, and actually gets the ball back for us. And, and uh, like I said, Chris has got some good ability and he's going to be good for his corner. And now we come back out on uh, with a, a drive. We go back inside to, uh, 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 we went back inside. Then we, uh, I think that was Oslo Pogai. He, right, ended right. Up, he throws the interception again. Again, got to make better decisions in that time. He throws it. He got to throw it and only one guy can catch it. The defense comes back out on the field here. Uh, you see their quarterback makes a nice throw, and that, that's a nice strip by our guy. Now they got about a 45-yard field goal, uh, which results up in three points. But it only came because after the interception mm -hmm. that we threw, uh, and so we got to make better decisions uh, at that quarterback position. We, we go back with Jay once again, and, and he, he loses two, but uh, we get Tony in the scramble situation. This is a third and long. This is a good throw and good catch by Marcellus. Uh, well, now it's first down, and right on the uh, we got uh, Tony on the corner. But uh, again, if he, he turns back to, to throw uh, a screen play, gets it tipped, 
Mm -hmm. uh, they run a sweep. We got to get off blocks uh, right here, uh, Tom. And, and they, they take it down. This is late uh, in the fourth quarter. They run an option here. Uh, we knock them out on the one yard line. You got to be in better position. Then they run their the goal line offense and goes over the top. And that's 24 to 3 uh, in the third quarter. Uh, and uh, that's the only score they've gotten. Our offense comes back out and, uh, you know, we're really working hard. Reggie does a nice job of gaining 11. Uh, Oslo gets the ball over to Terrence Bryant. And, uh, you know, this is call that play three times and got people lined up correctly. And you can see we end up scoring a touchdown. Uh, that's a good job by TD. And the first two times, even if we might have been lined up correctly, but one block and he would have been a big game. Well, uh, yes, if one block would have been. But, uh, you know, when we look at the film, uh, we have to get our back on, on the correct side. Uh, but this is a good play call here and a good execution. Our Southwestern uh, and, Bell play uh, of the game. Terrence did a good job. This is onside kick. Uh, you know, what we got to do, Tom, we practice that thing three or four times. We got guys at the edge that should be over there. Mm -hmm. uh, and uh, as you can see, the results of the ball game, uh, 24 to 10. Uh, again, we come up short and, and we go back and watch that film and, and got to look at how we can get better time. That's that's the most important thing. We get, we're two and three and we have to reverse this thing. You'll be talking to the players tomorrow. You'll be, you've already talked to your staff. Hold that thought for a minute. We'll get to what you had to say and what you will say tomorrow. We'll do that a little right. bit later on in the show. You know, one young man had a very busy day against Missouri. Dwayne Levels was credited with 15 tackles, 13 unassisted, three for a loss, and there were some, including yours truly, who thought even those numbers were a little low. He was everywhere, giving every ounce of energy he had, and then some. On this week's Oklahoma Farm Bureau Insurance Two Minute Drill, we'll show you just another day at the office for Dwayne Levels. You know, Bob, if there was any question, and there isn't as far as the staff is concerned about the character of this football team, there should never be any after that goal line stand late in the game against Missouri when the game was decided. Yeah, Tom, that game was decided and over, but uh, uh, the character of this team speaks to how those kids play right through the end. Uh, they could have let them in. Uh, they fought hard, and like I said, it speaks to what those kids are all about. Well, Dwayne Levels is indeed a very special young man. You get to meet Dwayne when we return to the Bob Simmons Show. Now it's time for the Big Time Sports Apparel Player Spotlight. Each week we feature the cowboy who typifies the big time attitude to dig down deeper. This week's cowboy in the player spotlight is Dwayne Levels. Congratulations, when you were big time, dig down deeper. Welcome back to the show and indeed our big time player is Dwayne Levels. Dwayne, welcome to the show. And you heard me say in the tease, you know, this guy comes to work every day with the same motor running at the same speed, 
and that's what the good ones, that's what the great ones do. Well, it does, Tom. And, uh, you know, Dwayne, uh, ever since he was a, a freshman, had that work ethic. And last year he played with all those guys. And I can consider him a starter then. And, and uh, you know, you talk about who's the general of your defense, mm -hmm. the guy that everybody counts on. Uh, this guy does a good job. We talked before the season. This was going to be your time to step it up now. This was your linebacker core, so to speak, and you've done a good job. Yeah, I mean, I have so many talented guys working with me. You know, I'm not, I'm not out there by myself. You know, that makes it a lot easier when you know that you have talented guys to the right and the left of you. And it, how does it make you feel to know that they're there looking toward you, though? You've been the guy in the trenches. You've been the guy to war in that particular linebacker core, and some of these young guys are getting there now, but they look to you right at the start. Yeah, I mean, it feels good, you know, to have someone looking up to you, looking, you know, for, to you for responsibility and, to, you know, to line them up right and all that stuff. So, it, I mean, I accept the role and I take pride in it. You know, we talked on the radio uh, post-game show, and I want you to tell our fans now. I mean, this is a day, 24 hours later, depending on when they see it. Obviously, disappointment, but this team has not quit and won't quit. No. I mean, it's an 11-game schedule. I mean, if you knew you were going to win every game, you know, went out there and just, just played just to win, I mean, you know, everyone would do it. But that's why you play 11 games, you know, to get better. You know, it's a season. You got to make a season out of it and go out there and have fun and play each game like it's your last. Well, he's right. Uh, you know, Tom, we don't want to be two and three, and, but we are. Uh, and uh, as, uh, as I talk to the coaches and as I talk to the players, I said to them, we well, got one way to go, and that's up. And uh, obviously, homecoming is important to us. Mm -hmm. Our state game is important to us. And we, and we need to improve, and I think both sides of the ball knows that. And a lot of people <coughs> didn't realize you weren't feeling tip-top shape against Missouri either. You were a little sick and still made 18 tackle, 15 tackles. The change in weather. I mean, you come from a, <laughs> it was kind of cool up there, you know. And Texas guy, Texas. Nah, I don't want to hear it. It's just <laughs> it was a little cool, but hey, it was great football. Yeah, right? it was. It was great effort as usual. Weather. We look forward to seeing you in action against Iowa State. Thanks for coming to the show. Thank you. Back to wrap it all up after this timeout. Welcome back to the show. And Bob, we mentioned before you met with the uh, coaches on Sunday. You meet with your players on Monday. What will be the message? Well, you know, Tom, t tonight we uh, we evaluated uh, our, our game, and uh, obviously we got to find a way to, to, to reel this team in, uh, stop the uh, the water, so to speak, put a dike in it, and get a win. Uh, we got to do a, have a great game plan coming up for homecoming, and uh, the message quickly to the team uh, tomorrow is like I said before, there's one way to go, and that's only up, and that's for improvement. And we're looking forward to this game with Iowa State. And they come in feeling pretty good about themselves. Yes. They do as they played Nebraska pretty tough on the last outing. But it's homecoming here at Oklahoma State. Should be a big crowd. And we look forward to seeing you at Lewis Field. That's all the time we have for this week. For Bob Simmons, our entire crew here at Educational Television Services, Tom Dorado. Goodbye, everybody. 